Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to about 20 minutes after 4 on Saturday the 16th of April. It's, uh, it's actually quite comfortable out here. It has been lightning and pouring down rain all day today. There was one point, like around noon or so, that I thought it was going to be dry enough. I was going to come out here and do the grass, bring Sasha and Annie out, and uh, look back and just a black cloud from heck is coming <laughs> and uh yeah it dumped and it's been raining ever since then we got this other clear spot out here so i have an idea of what i'm gonna do for my vlog today look at this it's just gorgeous how was it as nasty out here is what it's been but you can see like them clouds back in there but anyway i have an idea of what i'm doing despite it being beautiful there ain't nothing happening with the mower or riding motorcycles or anything because it's showing about 20 minutes or so before the next rain hits. So, what I thought, maybe you guys might enjoy this. Maybe you won't. If you don't, bail out. <laughs> I guess here it comes. How would you like to take a Hellcat completely apart? You guys want to see the internals of one of these things? I'll do little techie things. How about for this? And you guys that may be thinking of one of these, um, maybe you'd like to see what one looks like on the in inside. I would imagine you can probably find a uh, YouTube video somewhere that'll, that's already done that probably a hundred times. But uh, I haven't done it for you. So here we go. All right. Then. Some of the stuff out of the way here. The holder open, flip your dropper, pull the trigger. You guys have seen all this, it's super, super simple. There's the uh, takedown of the slide and the barrel. That's super, super simple. There's the 1 16th and the 3 30 seconds. Pretty common stuff. So she's down. So uh, first step you want to do is uh, the locking block take down. If you don't know what a locking block is, it's where the barrel locks down. That's the locking block where she locks down. So you can pull the, you can actually pull this thing out. It's easier just to go ahead and drop the, at this point, to drop the pin on it. So I'm going to push the locking block pin out uh, first. And what do I got? I need something to... Um, will that work? I'll probably destroy this thing, but I'll try it. Usually you can just push these things straight through. But I might have to give them a little... Oh, no, she's going right through. All right. So there's a locking block pin. Now these pins are all different. And I'll explain that to you here here in a bit. Let's just go ahead and drop all the pins out. We'll knock the, the trigger pin out too. I'll use the larger punch for this. And again, just drop right out. So I lift that. Should just come right out without any fights. Come on. All right, so that's the locking block. And then this is your um, slide lock spring. And it actually leans over and it works to retain the uh, takedown lever as well. So there's your locking block. Again, so it's important to keep these things clean and lubed. Is, uh, this is where that barrel precisely locks down in that mode. You know, when they uh, it's going through its actions, funk, at the end, it locks down. You can see your feed feed ramp. Part of that start of that feed ramp is down here on the uh, locking block as well. So you want to have that top area, your barrel in this area. You want to keep that lube and clean. The slide lock, it's sitting in a trough, so you can lift, you can lift this thing out. And you can see it's a little groove that it sets in. So the, the pin for the uh, uh, trigger 
pivot also holds that and well we'll, we'll take that out next but uh, the shear um, holder or housing is all in this this piece back here it'll come out as an assembly so that's the pin for it right there I need the small one again see if I can get lucky just pushing these things out without no I might have to hit that one when I say hit I mean kindly I don't mean bang anything I'll use the soft side here yeah she goes right out pull her all the way out like I say there's three different pins here so we're gonna lift the shear housing and the the trigger um, arm all at the same time or trigger bar as they refer to it so this one it kind of locks in the back so you need to kind of go forward and up at the same time let's see if we can do this again this is the first time I've taken this one apart I have actually taken the pro apart because I thought something I thought I seen some rust in there and it, it wasn't it was just some coloring and literally here's the here's the pin that fooled me it looked like it had rust on it it's just I don't know the color of the pin I felt like a fool once I got it out and then I looked at the um, 45 in the in this Hellcat and realized it was the same color so anyway forward and out you should be able to lift the shear block and the trigger bar and trigger all in one piece so from here this is your uh, the uh, mag blocking lever I think they refer to it look at there where you can see some some residue that I did get completely cleaned out because I didn't take it completely apart let's see where you got the white lithium they love their white lithium grease that's nice so that's the that's the whole frame the next thing to take apart from here would be reversing your your mag release so we'll just set that out of the way well, here's one little trick here you need to watch for this pin is retained with a little clip so you've got to be mindful of this little clip so before you use it reach in there and pull that little feller out See, it's just a little tiny guy. I don't know if you can, hopefully you guys can see that with the GoPro. All right, so I'm not doing, this is just like a full breakdown for cleaning and stuff. That's amazing, all that lithium is still in there. All the times I've blasted this thing and cleaned it. So the next step is to pull the trigger bar out of the shear, or sear as it may be, I always say, I always add a H to it, so I apologize in advance. So you got to kind of, it's kind of weird to get this thing in and out. So what I've found is just kind of, I kind of pull forward and up slightly and it'll, you'll feel it release. This will make sense to you in a second. So I felt it just release so you can, you can add a little negative pressure here to pull this thing out. So here I say that and this, now this one's going to fight me. Come on now, there you are. Well, wow, that was actually kind of tight in there. So there's your trigger bar. Again, look at the look at that gunk there that just my you know doing my normal cleaning didn't get out. So the sear, you can push this; it'll drop out the bottom. It'll roll out. Now the the pin that retains this spring it's one sided is it this way or the other way it's this way there we are so you can see one side it's almost like the head of a nail so the pin only goes in one way and there's your your sear so from here you can go through and deep clean um, all these components all that's moving smoothly I'm not gonna disassemble so from here I'm gonna kinda clean these things up and we get everything clean and then we're just going to go back together. But that's a full takedown of it. That's everything. That's as far as you go. Well, there's some stuff I can do with the uh, with the slide. All right, let's get this thing cleaned up a little bit. I have all that stuff. It's all clean, setting aside. I know where everything goes. 
I got a little little pan over here with stuff. And so anyway, let's uh let's take this slide apart right quick. Um, so you can see what that looks like. So you got a release here at the top. So you give that thing just a slight push. You want to move out ever so slightly, but you don't want to go too far. You just want to get it unlocked because your extractor spring plunger whatever the heck you call it there is sitting underneath there and this thing will come up and whack you but good so you can if you want you can put a little pressure on it but you you run the risk of losing it because this thing will really fly so I'm gonna do this towards me right quick and when it pops out it comes out pretty hard there it goes all right so that's that for that so here is your striker pin assembly this is what comes up and uh sets things off wow look at the lube they have in there i generally don't i don't soak any of that stuff with lube but it stayed clean i don't have like a million rounds to it or anything so if you want to take the extractor out you can pull the extractor spring out now be mindful this thing is timed it has to go a certain well it'll, it'll only go one way and you can release this thing but be careful because this now this now pops out and it has its own little spring in there so be mindful not to let that fly across your your room because like that little um, little keeper ring that can be quite interesting so I'm gonna clean this up that's that's it she stripped down so let me clean this stuff up we'll come back with all clean parts and then well if you guys want to see um, like if you need to replace your striker spring I'm probably gonna clean this thing anyway this might not be deep enough I might need something deeper so they're kinda like collets or spring retainers here but you gotta be careful this spring will fly I mean literally take off so you got these little collets or spring retainers and release the pressure slowly there's your striker spring and then this little that's actually what you're pushing on the back of to release the plate that's what's sitting right inside there and that works as a as a lock see the whole thing locks into place that's why you push it out of the way and it allows it to slip but uh there's your striker or firing pin in the in the regular world of of firearms and here we are so I clean that out and Got her back together. A little grunge down in the, the striker bore. And uh, do out there. Let's make sure this works. Release, goes forward, comes back out. Make sure everything does what it's supposed to do. So, enough to slide out. Pretty straightforward stuff there. All right, so let's get the sear, sear housing back together here. So uh, first off, you need to get the, the pin in. I'm just going to give this thing just a little little bit of drop. We'll roll that in a little bit. So the sear is going to go forward. So the pin's in the back. So I just want to roll it up when, I'm, when I get there. So I'm going to run it through the spring. I didn't take the spring off, so I don't have to be overly cautious about where the gap is and I like to dab just a just a little bit on the on the sear I'm just gonna put just a little bit of white lithium here white lithium here and on the sear you can knock a lot of this stuff off later but you can reach in there and wipe it down. So this is going to roll forward. If I 
can do this and go up in here like that. Now, again, I want to get this with some white lithium. I'm going to get around these areas here. And this doesn't necessarily need it, but I'm not even got you in front of the camera. But right in here, you definitely need it there. And I just wet this just to get the crap in there. Doesn't really matter. This is a little tricky to get back in. Cause you gotta kinda you gotta kinda preload the spring here a little bit. And you have to because there's a little T in this thing that that falls in a groove. I might have to pull you away from the camera. I can't do it and looking in it. So you gotta come back and drop there we go, it fell right in. So this thing will be flat against the the sear um, housing when it's in there correct. So there you are. Now, when it's in there, you need to make sure that this spring is sitting in that, yep, yeah, see, you heard it click. It needs to be right in that little groove right there. And everybody will live in there just happy-go-lucky. Let's go ahead and Use our grease one more time. Put just a little dab right here where that retaining spring goes. Grab that little spring and slip her back in that little little notch there. That has to be there. Or uh, yeah, bad things could happen as you're as you're clicking and banging along. So our mag blocker sits in this little groove and she's gonna ride she's gonna ride back and forth in there like like yonder so we're gonna take the trigger and the sear housing we're gonna kind of drop the trigger down in here and then you kind of roll this back and you have to get see these two little pins right there there's a groove in the like in the dovetail so to speak make sure that little retainer is there and then that should just drop in. And there it goes. Don't, don't freak out with any pins or anything just yet. That's your slide lock spring. And that falls in that little groove. And you'll see there's a pin on one side that holds in there like so. You wanna drop this in, got your little mag blocker right there and get this in that groove and I should I don't have my best glasses on here either she should start sliding in there there she is everybody be happy you know I think I do have to have my my mag release thing in there don't I because that will fall right in a little groove No. So you slide this down, and now what you want to do first, and I do this from the right hand side, you want to kind of get it, make sure everybody's in a happy little home here, and that your your mag blocker is all in there. Everybody's together. Take your trigger pin. I guess I could go ahead and put the yeah okay so these two pins here one has three grooves one two three and this one has two the three goes back with the sear housing and I just wet these things a little bit nothing crazy this may not be the correct order to do all this if it's not you guys can cry later but you wanna Push this pin through, and I don't force anything, so I just give her just a little push, and now I should be able to get my 
trigger pin in there again give it just a little little wetness and looks like I'm pretty lined up here maybe sort of kind of there we go there flush there and now while I'm kind of holding this sear block I want to wet this a little bit she's held down and then she's gonna snap in on the other side there we are not quite flush so we take a little pin give it ah there she goes nice little click look at that so we need to function test this thing so with the, you want to push this back, and that releases it, and you want to pull your trigger back, and then it pops. You see the sear pop up, pops back out, pops up. I guess I need to get my breakdown lever in here. Put just the lightest little mount in here. Oop, I need there right in there. So. You'll see this one side's kind of flat. So drop that where that that spring for your uh, your mag or slide release spring. You can see it's offset. You can turn that and that'll load that spring a little bit. And then once it loads it, you just start walking her through. And then you gotta the tricky part is, is get it to fall in. She's not breaking over the spring. There we are. So there's there's your breakdown lever. So at that point, I'll lube this right quick. We'll pop it together. We'll function test it. And we'll be done. So there she is back together. Wipe off any excess bleeding of whatever anywhere. slide functions with the slide lock with the magazine in it make sure you got all that in there correctly and there she is a little, a little crazy with the oil there but that's all right you gonna hurt nothing that's the insides of a Springfield Army Hellcat I probably made this thing a thousand miles long, so if you see a bunch of brakes in there, it's me trying to save some time. And I'm sure I fumbled through a whole bunch here. I'm terrible at being on the spot, and being on the spot is knowing that camera is sitting there staring over my head and listening to every word I'm saying. <laughs> and you're listening, so I start to fumble around a bit. I apologize for that. Love them Springfield Armies. All right. Well, hello there, YouTube. We're coming out here real quick because the next bout is coming, boy. Yeah, it's black out there. But at some point tomorrow, it goes to 0% chance of rain and stays that way for the rest of the day. That'd be nice. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be sunny, but no chance of rain. But it's going to get up to like 58 or something. Oh, there we that'll, go. That'll feel like summer. I know it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that'll be great. Maybe we can go out there and go hope rip around right. somewhere. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. I hope for that. Today was a, a very much so a fix it day. I was fixing stuff around the house, and well, I wasn't fixing the hell gap, but I just did a deep clean on it. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to worry about that no more. Well, that's good. <laughs>
been one of them days. Been chill and kind of project fixing day. Yeah. I like those. I like those too. You feel like you did something uh, yeah, by the end of the you day. Yeah, you accomplished something. Yeah. I think on that, we're going to roll out on you. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Sunday or Monday. Heck yeah. All right. All right. Pray for oh. a ride tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. All right. We'll see you then. See you then. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.